Hi, thanks for coming back to my channel today. I believe this is a mid-2010 keyboard replacement. I'm going to break the video into two parts. Part one, I'll show you how to remove the components. And part two, I'll show you on how to put them back together. So stay tuned. If you like the video, please subscribe, click the like button. Okay, let's get started. So this is a MacBook Pro 2010 a mid 2010 and three things that you need to have is a Phillips screwdriver, a Torx screwdriver and this is a tri screwdriver uh, this is to remove the battery so let's get started make sure you have the screw in a position where you can put them back together the reason because the screw they are all different sizes they are not the same so make sure you don't mix them up Okay, here comes off the back plate. In this tutorial, you'll get to know how to remove the hard drive, um, know how to replace the fan, upgrade the RAM, or change out the battery. Pretty much, I need to take everything apart in order for me to do um, or to replace the keyboard. Also, you get to see on how to change the touchpad as well. So first thing I'll do is to remove the hard drive. This is the battery connector. use the tri screwdriver The rest of it, pretty much, I'm just going to remove the cable for now. I'm going to set off a tweezer. Be very careful, you do not want to damage the motherboard. I'm just trying to peel off this plastic right here. This cable would just slide right out. This is speaker cable, fan cable. You do not pull them, they, they are not in a way where you pull the cable out. 
they're more like you got to pop it outwards so you're going to come straight out just pop it straight out okay on this one here you want to open up the latch or the clip on just make sure the clip one is is open and you can just pull the cable out that way okay just pull it out that way okay first I'll do is to use the torque screwdriver and remove the CPU fan So for those of you who have CPU fan problem or need a replacement, uh, this tutorial would show you on how to do that. That's how you get the CPU fan out. I'm going to clean it off. There's a lot of dust around it. Since you take it apart, you might as well just clean it around. Okay, now I think it's time to just remove the motherboard. This motherboard is slide off so it's loose at this at this point and the only thing that is holding is the charging port the DC jack what you want to do is remove that as well Make sure you don't lose this one. Okay, be very careful although the DC jack is came loose but what happened is that right underneath here you see that is your microphone they actually glue them together you want to slowly get the um, get into the glue and detach the microphone
okay you're gonna get underneath here and detach the microphone okay so that's done Okay, this is for the hard drive. Okay, this this is for the speaker. So there are three screws for optical drive. And right now what I'm going to do is to remove the the palm rest and detach the screen you need to have a torque 8 screwdriver for this
Yeah, I did, I did not push far enough, so I don't have enough room to slide it out. Okay, let's try. So pretty much if you, earlier when I tried to push it out, if you have enough room, then the thing will just slide right out. Okay. So as you see, the video also shows you on how to remove or replace the screen. Um, remove or replace the keyboard touchpad so pretty much is is a full tutorial on how to take the macbook pro apart and stay tuned i'm going to do the installation and the part two will show you on how to do that thanks for watching